fingers in my head that sly come hither stare but Rocky thinks it's so hot out Rocky wants to go to the farmer's market and get a dog treat and cool off Lucy thinks that's a great idea and she'd like something to eat that's fresh from the farmer's market Mom, can we go to the farmer's market? We would really like to go to the farmer's market. Okay, but you have to get a haircut first. So come on, let's get dressed up before we go. Now let me see if I can find something in the newspaper here. for Gruber. Lucy hates the idea of getting wet. But Debbie does a really good job, and I really like her. Maybe if I hide, she'll forget to take me with. I know I'll have to go. It won't be so bad. Maybe they could just take Rocky and forget about me. Yeah, that's a good idea. Rocky says it won't be so bad. They usually put us in the same cage together. I'll be there for you. Rocky likes Debbie. He always gets good treats from her. Come on, Lucy, let's watch TV for a while. This one's pretty funny too. Animal Planet's always fun. Lucy wants to change the channel and watch the news. Giancana was seen getting oh, up. Oh look, Rocky, and there's Frank mom. Up, giving him a hug. And they put that in the newspaper. And when they put that in the newspaper, naturally John F. Kennedy says, I can't stay with you in Palm Springs because it's gonna look like I'm like buddying up with the mob. He ruined everything. He got kind of trapped by that reputation, yep, didn't he? Yep, he did. Lucy can't believe how wonderful her mom looks on TV and Rocky's so proud of her. Aw. Backstage one when, 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 when night, listen to this. I said, when you guys are drinking, we're drinking all this booze on these booze tables back there. So why don't you just take that out on the floor, out, out on stage and drink it? You're saying that the idea for the rolling bar. Yes. When they would roll the yes, bottles roll out the in the middle of the performance right. was your idea. An idea. <laughs> That's something you didn't know. Boy, the, the neighborhood's going to talk about us now. Come on, Lucy, we better get a haircut. Everybody knows us. Okay, let's go. Come on now, let's get going. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, Rocky, let's go. We'll just pretend that it's a bad dream, but it'll be over with before you know it. Come on now, just think about good things. And we'll smell so good. Oh. Well, we've been, been really, really we've been really busy. Right. I was going to just say doing shows, really busy. Really busy. You have any interviews? <laughs> Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. I love you. Thank you, darling. Bye bye. It's okay, oh, honey. It's okay. Oh, no, her since you were a baby. Oh. <laughs> See, he knows you since you were. You know her since you were your baby. You too. You both know her since you're little born. Somebody's Bye. screaming. Bye. 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 Oh, look at them. Oh, look oh, over here. Oh, okay.
Wow, we're so glad that's over with. Let's go downtown to White Bear Lake. Hey, this is so fun. Look at all the people. The kids, the water, it's cool. It's so fun. Now, where's the biscuit guy? I want you all to know I got lucky today. I ran into Julie Kramer. <laughs> I'm on my fifth book now, Shunning Sarah, and it just came out this week. It's set in southern Minnesota in the Amish community near Harmony. Oh, wow. Murder happens. Ooh. And my TV reporter heroine um, is sent down to investigate. <gasps> and so... What we have is two cultures pitted against each other. Oh, how cool. TV news versus the Amish. So oh, conflict is guaranteed, and we always need conflict for good storytelling. You yeah, know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know that. <laughs> I know that for sure. Good conflict, yeah. I've really? been, well, there's some really good people that love books and love to read around here. I mean, where would you not like to read by a lake? Yeah, people have homes by the lake. And prop yourself up with a good boss. Yeah, I was saying we met your little dog, Lucy. And I hope I never have to write Losing Lucy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Losing Lucy. <laughs> I hope not either because uh, she disappeared in the store there for a second. I don't know how she got away from me. Yeah, we're in front of Lake Country Booksellers here in White Bear Lake. Okay. And, um, you know, the farmer's market is always a popular gathering place for people in town. Um, which, what's the names of all your books? Um, Stalking Susan, Stalking Susan, Missing Mark, Missing Silencing Mark. Sam, Silencing Sam, like Killing that. Kate, Killing Kate, and now. Shunning Sarah. Shunning Sarah. And if you notice, um, in the world of the Amish, we have some Amish dolls here, and they have oh. no faces. And oh, that's because no in the Amish world, uh, pictures, photographs, that's considered graven images. Oh. And they believe the biblical man yeah. there, and they believe that uh, pictures are prideful. So it's sort of like sad little raggedy hands with no faces. Aww. And the dolls play a role in the story of Shunning Sarah. Wow, how neat is that? That's kind of scary. They don't have faces. Oh, that is so cool idea. Is it true? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. That, no, no. All my that, research is, is true. Yes. Oh, I, I know. That's the research into the Amish, and so everything you read in my book. Minnesota has one of the fastest growing old order Amish communities. Do they? Yes, in southern Minnesota. I didn't know that. And then they make that beautiful furniture? Yes, they do. Wow, I didn't know that either. Thank you so much Thank for, you so for much. Uh, talking with me. Thanks for stopping by. It was great to meet nice you to again. See you. Nice All to right. see you. Honey. All right, and bye, Lucy. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. Rocky and Lucy think Julie should write their book, Mystery Dogs. <laughs> Lake Country Bookstore. And I'm going to be talking. I'm Susie Frenchel. Susie, one Frenchel. of the owners. And I'm Bert Kimmelly, Bert Kimmelly. a co-owner. And this is my favorite of all five. It's set in southern Minnesota, down near Harmony, and um, it has a, a story a little bit like Witness. If you ever saw that yeah. movie all those yeah. years ago, when it <laughs> opens, a little boy falls into a sinkhole in <gasps> southern Minnesota, Every which power. it's famous oh, for, yeah. and he lands down there and his body wrapped in an Amish quilt. Thank you for having, having us come in and, and talk with you today. I'm glad, I'm glad you got a chance to meet Julie. Rocky and Lucy loved to be at the White Bear Lake area and they survived their great uh, grooming event. If you'd like to be on our show, give us a call, 651-500-0177 or breakingmysounds.net. Just please call us or SCC. Thank you. Have a good day. Head. That sly come hither stare That strips my conscience bare It's witchcraft